Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to back up a persistent volume to a S3 bucket using Longhorn. We're going to use Longhorn to back up and restore a persistent volume to a S3 bucket. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we are locked in to our range here, right, UI, right? And I'm gonna go to my cluster. I only have one that is called local. And I'm gonna look for Longhorn. And I'm gonna click on Manage Storage System via UI. And this is my long on. As you guys can see, we only have one volume. And that volume is coming from this application. I deploy an application into a namespace called Eagle. So it's coming from this database. And if you go to PVC, you're going to see that we have a one PVC. And it should be five gig. So if we check this one, you're going to see that it is the same thing and it's 5 gig and it is attached to my DB. As you can see right here, it's this one, my DB. So now, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we set up our backup target and we said we want to back up to a s3 bucket what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to my aws console aws sorry console go to s3 bucket and i'm going to create a bucket right i'm going to name it an il one two three uh two three four five right that's all i'm gonna do just a basic s3 bucket right as you guys can see the bucket is empty we just created it right that's fine so the second thing i'm gonna do is since i'm on aws i'm gonna go to i am And I'm going to create a user. I'm going to go to users, create a user. I'm going to call this user, let's call it long horn. Uh, the user doesn't need a access to a AWS management console because it's only it's a long horn, right? It's an application. We can also create a role, but a user is fine as well. So I'm going to give the user some permissions, right? I'm just going to give the user admin permissions, but you need to make sure that you narrow down the permission so that the user only has the permission needed to back up and restore from S3 bucket. So we're going to click on next. And we're going to read it, no tags. I'm going to click on create user. Yes, the user. Then I'm going to go to, as you guys can see, if we go back to users, we're going to have a user. Oh, yeah, long horn. Sorry, I went faster. I'm going to click on the user and I'm going to go on security credentials, right? And I'm going to click on, I'm going to go to access keys and I'm going to create the access key. I'm going to use a CLI, right? And I'm going to confirm it that I understand the above recommendation and i want to proceed to create the access key right and i'm going to click on next then i'm going to click on create access key on the aws side i have everything i want so let me let me make this one a little bit smaller i'm going to open a new window i'm just going to make sure that i'm able to get to my cluster right kubectl get nodes 
I do have three workers, right? That's fine. Let me make this one a little bit smaller. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I need to create a secret, right? So we're going to do it together. I'm going to do kubectl. Create what we want. What resource we want to create is a secret, and the secret is going to be generic, right? Let's call it AWS iPhone secret, right? And it's going to be from literal, right? And from literal, we're going to take the the first one going to be AWS underscore access underscore key underscore, I think it's ID. I'm going to put equal that we, we take, we copy this ID and we paste it, right? And I'm going to do another set from, let me copy all these. And let me, okay, let me paste it right here, but it's not going to be uh, AWS access. It's going to be secret, right? So let's, it's going to be secret. underscore access underscore key and we're going to copy the secret access key right here and paste it right here and we're going to make sure that we create it in the same namespace as our long horn and our long horn is in what namespace if we check our long horn is where this is our long horn. It is in the long, namespace long horn iPhone 6 system. So I'm going to copy it. And the namespace is going to be long horn iPhone system. Sorry. So, and let's click on, let's press enter. So I can do, if I come over here and I do secret, I should see my, let's go by namespace. You said long horn. Let's look for long horn system. And I look for my secret. It should be, we should see AWS secret, right? Oh, let's look for secret, sorry. And we have our AWS secret. We can press on X if you are using uh, uh, K9 S. We press on X and you're going to see what we want, right? So with this, we are good. So the next steps is to go back to the console, right? Let me, let me make it bigger. And we're going to go to settings right here we're going to go to general and let's go all the way down and look for s3 bucket let's look for s3 bucket And it's not S3 bucket, sorry. We are looking at the often and over here. We're gonna see the backup concurrency limit per backup. We're gonna put we're gonna leave it as two, and we're gonna have the backup target. Sorry, the backup target. So it's gonna be S3. Three. 
colon alpha alpha n. We said uh, we don't need this anymore. Let me open another one. Let me copy this and paste it. Let's go to S3 bucket. It's going to be an IL2345. So now let's come back over here and let's put an IL2345 at. Let's put the region right. As you can see, the region is, if you come back over here, is US is 2. Let's copy in that place it there. Then I'm going to do slash. And I put, I'm going to put the path, right? Let's call the path. Uh, let's call it like uh, eagle. The path, right? And let's make sure that we have the proper AWS secret wire. So the secret we created earlier, right, was AWS iPhone secret. Let's put it wire. And let's click on save now if we do if you click over here we're going to see that we have nothing right let's go back to long run and let's go back to volume right let's click on this volume over here we're going to see over here we can do create a backup or create a snapshot right today we're going to do create a backup so i'm going to click on create backup right and i'm going to click on ok as you guys can see, it's going to create a backup, right? When everything is done, it's like 62%, 92%, and it is done, right? So if I come over here and I refresh this, I'm going to see that I have a new directory called Eagle, right? And within that directory, I have my backup. And I have the backup of this volume, right? And if I go to backup, I'm going to see that I do have one backup, right? You can label it if you want. And that is, this is how it is done, right? We're going to backup our persistent volume or our PVC or PV to a S3 bucket using Longhorn, right? And this is how it is done. So we're going to see some disaster recovery and all that later. But for now, this is how we do the backup. And if you have any question, please let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.